Meet Samuel and Victor. Both moved thousands of miles away from home to study at Coventry University. But months into their studies, their education is now in severe jeopardy. They say their sponsor has not paid their tuition fees or upkeep. And now Coventry University says both they and other Bielsa students on the same scheme must leave campus. So we have been pleading and trying to look for a solution to it, but we sent messages back home and we haven't gotten any message. Because so the union keeps sending us messages that, oh, you guys should pay off your school fees and stuff like that, but we keep talking to them. Then I called home, like, I called the scholarship board, not really home, yeah, Nigeria there. I called them, like, oh, this is where it's happening. So they were like, oh, we're going to pay, we're going to pay, we're going to pay for long. We have been asking them to pay. They said they're going to pay, so the union gave us money. Home in the UK is this small house shared with three others, but only equipped for four people, not five. Due to non-payment of upkeep, Samuel, who was evicted by his landlord, now sleeps on this tiny sofa. This is where I sleep every night for so many months in terrible cold. A kind favour from Victor, who is close to eviction himself. Around 30 students from Bayasa State studying in the UK have found themselves penniless and desperate for support. The leading voice amongst the students fighting for their fees to be paid is Anna. Late last year, Anna spoke to channels about the plight of the Bayasa students. So close to finishing her master's degree at Middlesex University, she too is desperate for her fees to be paid. The sponsorship board have remained mute. Internationally, our reputation as Nigerians has been demeaning. I think all um, the bodies and the universities that actually have seen what has gone through might not accept other students coming, uh, coming abroad to study in their universities with um, um, sponsorship letters, which is a shame and, and degrading, demeaning for our country internationally and locally. They have challenges with graduation. The schools most likely will not give their certificates to them. So we'd like to appeal, we'd like to call on the, the authorities concerned to look into this and as a matter of urgent attention, release the necessary funds. Now the elections just took place in Bayelsa State, a new government is in place. So there is a need for, for the government to look to make this a priority. And so the alarming pattern continues. Nigerian students find themselves in dire and degrading circumstances. Unless funding arrives in the coming days and weeks, dozens of Bielsa students will have no choice but to return home and up to their necks in debt as a result of their time in the United Kingdom. For those who are still determined to gain a degree, they'll have to fund it themselves and start all over again, this time on home soil. Karen Chambers, Channels Television News, reporting from Coventry, the United Kingdom.